In these 30 years of history the franchise has presented us with many Power Rangers, but there are some that have stood out for some details and because of this, they have managed to change history forever. These details are not only things that have been achieved in the history of the series, but also in the history of the franchise because they have achieved a change in the fans. I want to start with the best known of all and obviously, Tommy Oliver, which remains the most famous ranger in the history of Power Rangers. This character was the first evil ranger and so far, he is the longest continuously leading ranger. His leadership began as the White Ranger in the second season of Mighty Morphin and ended in episode number 19 of the Turbo season, which gives us a total of 138 episodes. Obviously, this is not counting the 10 episodes of Alien Rangers since that season is considered part of season 3 and is named as a miniseries within the original series. Another record that this character has is that he has appeared in 8 different seasons and is the ranger who has appeared in the most episodes surpassing 235 episodes. Besides this, he is also the ranger with more color changes since he has used green, white, red twice, and black, which was his last color. He has been the first in several things such as being the first ranger to become a mentor, the first Green Ranger, the first White Ranger, the first Ranger to use Red in two different teams, and the first leader of a team that was not Red, although later he started to use it. All these records are incredible, but the best thing that Tommy Oliver has is the confidence that he provokes in people since everyone wants to follow him, and because of this, he has become the legendary Ranger. The next ranger in this list is Kendricks Morgan the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and the ranger who gave her life to save everyone. All rangers risk their lives constantly, but Kendricks decided to sacrifice herself in order to save everyone and this is one of the most impressive things a ranger has done in the entire history of the franchise. This character is so important that Hasbro recently released his new action figure even though Lost Galaxy products are not the best sellers. Many mention Kendrix in their list as one of the favorite rangers and her personality won the hearts of fans. After the death of this ranger, the story changed so much that the power was given to Koroni, who was a villain and is also Andra's sister. Speaking of Andrus, this ranger is next on the list and was the Red Ranger of the In Space season. This ranger made history because of his bravery, his leadership and all his ranger skills. Obviously, what made this ranger change history was the destruction of Zordon because even though it seems like an easy thing to do, it really isn't, since Zordon has always been like a father to all the rangers, and this was basically like having to destroy a beloved family member. All of us fans know about this event, and it has marked a before and after in the history of the franchise. Even in the last season we had, they mentioned this event since Zordon's shockwave has been something that marked the life of the whole universe, including the villains. Even though Zordon is the protagonist of this event, that would not have been achieved without Andrus since he was the one who had the courage to break the tube and save the universe. Andrus' influence on Power Rangers fans is so great that we can say that he may be one of the most famous Red Rangers in history and his weapon is one of the most loved by fans. The next Ranger is Amelia, the first Red Ranger to be for a full season and we must emphasize this as many fans still do not understand this concept. There have been other leading female Rangers for a full season, but none are Red. We have also had Red female Rangers who have also been leaders, but not for a full season. So, Amelia has been the first female ranger to be a leader for a full season using the color red. I hope you have understood this and are not writing the wrong things in the comments. We should give credit to this ranger as she started out as the first pink ranger we saw in her season and ended up being a red ranger leading her team. 
Opinions are divided, but I loved Amelia's participation as a Red Ranger, and I think she did an excellent job delivering blows with that hammer. The next ranger belongs to that same Dino Fury team, and we can't leave out Zaito, the first ranger with that color that no one can decide the name. This ranger is possibly the first ranger in the history of the Power Rangers universe since for now, no one knows if the ranger started before this event when the Morphin Masters gave the power to Zaito and his team. This also makes him the first Red Ranger and team leader in the entire history of the Power Rangers timeline. Let's remember that I'm not talking about our actual timeline since obviously the first Ranger we saw in 1993 was Jason, but I'm talking about the Power Rangers universe timeline. Another impressive thing that Zaido did is that he is the only Ranger in history to become a Morphin Master and so far, no one knows how it happened, but it is suspected that it was thanks to Zordon. Next on the list is Billy, the Blue Ranger from Mighty Morphin who also appeared in Cosmic Fury as the mentor of that team. This Ranger is so well known that we don't have to dwell too much on his story, but we can say that he has achieved such a great impact that this power has reached outside the TV series. The actor who plays this character has been so important that he got them to create the special episode and even though they did not want to use the script he had written, we all know that the whole episode was thanks to his idea. Billy is the second ranger with more appearances in episodes surpassing 200 episodes and he was the only ranger of the original team that was in the whole Mighty Morphin series. The last ranger on this list is Justin, the Blue Ranger from Power Rangers Turbo and I apologize for not showing his picture as a child since YouTube changes all the video settings when children appear. The reality is that this Ranger started in the Turbo movie to replace Rocky, who had hurt his back and could no longer help his team. In the series this event is not so important even though it was rare, but outside of the series it was awesome for the fans. Some loved this decision to turn a kid into a ranger and others hated it as they say it is something absurd. The production said at the time that they wanted a child to become a power ranger so that the child audience would feel that they could be a ranger and feel more connected to the series. Obviously, this didn't work out for them because Turbo has been one of the most hated series by many fans, but I don't think Justin's was the reason for this. Write in the comments other rangers that have impacted history, like this video and subscribe to impact this Power Rangers channel.